On some of these problems, we will want to be needing to use some of the perimeter or the uh, geometry formulas. Uh, these formulas might include things like the perimeter. Remember that the perimeter is the distance around a figure. Uh, we might need to use the fact that two complementary angles sum to 90 degrees and the two supplementary angles sum to 180 degrees. Um, and we might need to use the fact that, you know, things like the three angles and the triangles sum to 180 degrees. These are just a few examples of formulas that we might use. Um, of course, in geometry, there's a bunch of different formulas that might be relevant. In this instance, uh, we're looking at a, a family wanting to build a fence around a rectangular lot. And you can see one side of the fence, or one side of the lot is already fenced. And so we're only needing, they're only needing to construct these two sides and these two widths is what we're calling them here, and the length. <coughs> All right, um, let's see. One of the sides of the lot is already fenced. Lewis has asked what the dimensions of the lot are, but all you can remember is that the width of the, of the lot is 30 feet less than the length, and that he will need a total of 240 feet of fence. What are the dimensions? All right, so um, I think it's fairly clear that the two variables that are most logical to use here are W and L, since they're already given to us. So I'm not gonna fight that, I'm just going to use those variables. Now I need to come up with two equations that, that describe those variables. The first thing that, that kind of jumps out at me is that there's 240 feet of fence total. And this is going to be this side plus this side plus this side. So W plus L plus W, which I can combine. Well, this is equal to 240 because there's 240 feet of fence here. I can combine the two W's to get 2W plus L equals 240. So that's my first equation. My second equation, um, I need to look back up here to see what the second equation is going to be. Um, the width of the lot is 30 feet less than the length. You can see the width, according to this diagram, looks a little shorter, and that's, that's uh, verified by what it says up here. The width of the lot is, so W, this is the width of the lot, is, so this is W, is 30 feet less than the length. So W, is. Remember this, uh, when you're doing direct translations, um, sometimes the less than can be a little bit tricky. 30 feet less than the length, that means we're starting out the length and removing 30 from it. So we're going L minus 30. This is very different from 30 minus L, so be careful not to get those two mixed up. Um, usually when we're talking about subtraction, we take it in order, unless it's something like saying less than or fewer than. Um, so. In any case, um, for solving this system of equations, um, it looks to me like the substitution method is going to be the easiest since the second equation is already solved for w. So that means this l minus 30 can just take the place of w in the first equation. So I'll get 2 times l minus 30 plus l, because I'm still writing this equation, 2w plus l equals 240. So I combine the two equations together, and we get 2 times L minus 30 plus L equals 240. I can simplify here. This will give me, I need to distribute my 2, 2L two minus 60 plus L equals 240. Combining like terms, that gives me 3L minus 60 equals 240. Adding 60 to both sides, I get 3L equals 300. And dividing, L, uh, dividing both sides by 3, I get L equals 100. Of course, that's only the length. I need to figure out the width, and I already have that equation right here. Um, the width is L minus 30, so that's 100 minus 30, which is 70. So the length is, uh, what did I say, 100? And what are the units here? Feet. And the width is 70 feet.